Investments in the securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Welcome to another face to face friends. Uh, this is again going to be a absolutely cracker learning as they say in cricket, right? A cracker shot. Face to face is all about giving you the right knowledge from right people. And this face to face trading is going to again take you from here to there. But the journey from here to there is not just about watching video. It's also about practicing what you have learned. Because as other face to face guest said in one of the interviews that the journey from knowledge to wisdom yes you need to cross that journey but it's a painful journey it's not an easy journey so today is going to be an english face to face after a long time i have someone from down south he is very comfortable in english so we said no problem english mein karenge because face to face ke jo learners hai wo ab itne mature ho chuke hain ki mota moti unko english bhi samajh mein aane lag gaya hai right so today we are going to discuss a very very important topic and as you know that the format of face to face has changed in this video i'm going to introduce you to the speaker jo hamare sath mein knowledge share karne wale hain and uh, tomorrow which is friday we are going to run through his strategy and lot of knowledge and wisdom which he has come to share with us so let me introduce you to the speaker of this face to face sagar singh Hello, Sagar. Hi. How, how are you doing? doing? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Excellent. So, as I say this to everyone who comes down, thank you for coming to Calcutta. <laughs> Thanks. And this time you are with your spouse. Yes. So I hope you guys have great uh, trip around Kolkata. The weather is very nice. So go to really good places which <laughs> yes, Calcutta yes. is known for. Yes. Can I recommend you one place? Sure. Yeah. So Calcutta is a city of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, and there is a place where he used to live. Okay. Which is not very far. It's in central Calcutta. Okay. So that place is now a museum. Okay. So you should make this a point that you go and sure, sure, pay sure. pay homage to that lovely guy sure, we sure. we had, right? We all should, yes, 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 sure. yes. Amazing. So Sagar, we want to know about you. A uh, very short uh, journey in market or long, exhaustive journey in market. It's kind of long, uh, but there were some breaks. But yeah, I've been trading almost on ten, twelve years now. Mm -hmm. I started pretty much. Uh, with my job itself mm. i was interested in markets much before that mm. uh, probably when i was in my 11 and 12 mm. so during that time i had a math professor who was like he used to like me a lot mm. and on sundays he used to take me to his home and his entire first floor of the house was just books wow probably he had around 10 12000 books at his home a math teacher yeah and he he was like voracious reader he would read on all the topics mm. be it, he was an expert in not just maths physics mm. chem whatever mm. and we used to just sit and talk mm. and during one of those times he showed me this book of uh, stock market almanac mm. and he just showed me we were discussing something in maths and he showed me like how patterns come mm. so in that i was interested like during holidays how markets behave just mm. before holidays or during the month of jan or feb something specific happens in the market there is mm. a certain pattern to it kind of mm. so that's where i was very much interested and during one day what interesting happened was his classes used to be only on sundays mm. he came one of the weekend during the weekdays mm. and he just pointed me like come quickly out of the class so on that day he took me to the restaurant mm. and th that i was like also very excited and he was more excited than me mm. so then he explained why it is important like how for country like india it is very important mm. that we cross certain milestones so that's how it it started for me and from my first salary i believe i bought uh, reliance regular saving fund i think it was just 500 rupees mm. or 5000 rupees i started with mm. and i held it for almost 10 years <laughs> just it was just 5k ah. and i had held it for 10 years just because he had like mentioned it to me once mm. 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 so that's how my interest in market started and that's how even the this uh, present trading also comes because when we used to discuss it it was in terms of how uh, if something happens like to right a new time i all time high is hit mm. then how the market behaves mm. or if 52 week is hit then how the market be pretty much in stocks also mm. so that's how it continued for me nice and this was how many years ago this was probably 14 15 years ago 15 years ago okay. at least from there ago. that's how the interest started yes 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 but trading by then i could trade uh, when i started working right but he was no more by then mm. so he was pretty much aged mm. Uh, then when i actually started trading uh, 
I started all the, this charts and other things and I couldn't make out much okay. to be frank. Okay. But still I used to trade but I it's like neither I made money nor lost money. Mm-hmm. At least that was like one thing that if you if you see a yearly basis right I never busted my account or anything. Mm-hmm. It always stayed there mm-hmm. at least wherever I started or just little more. Mm-hmm. So then uh, I found one more book called High Trading High Profit Trading Patterns. Okay. So that's where it changed it for me. I mean, mm. that was the book where I started really making consistent, serious money mm. throughout. Mm. I mean, mm. again, uh, that was a lucky book I bought. I never expected that to be. Uh, even that has a story. Like uh, I, I got my bonus, first bonus, and I wanted to buy some books, mm. and I bought some books of uh, Sudarshan Sokani and uh, other popular people who used to come on TV. Mm. Mm. And since just it was like by mistake, I saw this guy's book and. it was written like 10 years of nifty original research something i thought okay let me just buy mm. and after i bought that book i couldn't sleep for two days you know really? just, it is it it has this book is on indian market yes what's the name of the book can you repeat high profit trading patterns high profit trading patterns and that's interesting it, it doesn't will will take the exact uh, name from yeah, i have put it in the ppt oh, you can just that will be great yeah. and it it doesn't have any chart it's all just mathematical figures wow <laughs> and you know it gave me so many patterns on things to trade that i was like i have at least stayed pretty much consistent from the time i read that book awesome awesome so chartless trading so guys today we in this not this one the next video tomorrow we are going to learn how to do chartless trading and he is going to share with us the hack which he has developed in an excel sheet so i have requested him to share that excel sheet also so tomorrow in that video we are going to see not just the concept understanding but a link to the excel sheet which you can download if you are interested in chart less trading well your initial introduction there were two very key i love those two key points yeah number one your maths teacher yeah. just reading anything and everything yeah yeah in a floor which is full of books I, I and that's say- my bucket list in life where i just exit everything and i have a floor where this is full of books and i yeah. spend less of my life around the books that's the best thing you can do to yourself yeah, yeah. isn't it and uh, the second thing and the second thing is the fact that you are open to learnings yeah at the early age generally you know indian typical indian family structure or a social structure is that do standard qualifications get a job and settle Yeah. Whereas you are a person who doesn't want to get settled, that's why you're open to new ideas. Yeah, I'm. I'm tired. I'm. I was just lucky, you know. If yeah. he wouldn't have shared those books with me or discussed things with me, probably I wouldn't have got it into. I would say that you were not. I mean, you are lucky, but luck always favors the brave. Also, so because you are open to ideas, that's why luck knocked the door yeah. and you got what you are getting right now. So right now, what you trade is a total chartless trading. Yes. only data yes just based on data and odds and probability how it comes right. so how come you know about probability so much you are very passionate about maths i i was i think i was li- little better <laughs> okay. the, from the beginnings and that kind of makes sense you know like if you look at charts probably if you give one chart to like 10 people right probably they may come up with four or five different ways of looking at it yeah so you can say it's more of an art yeah here it's ve- uh, very objective right it says yes or no you get the direct answer yeah it cannot change so no matter who looks at that data and uses these parameters it remains the same so yeah. either the odds if the odds are in your favor you take the trade if not you don't okay so it's it the decision making is very easy okay and once you have certain things in your head i mean in trading you need to have that quick decision making yeah immediately you, you know with that confidence you know you, can, you cannot have the doubt when you are placing the trade so once you have that data at the back of your head you just take the trade and leave it to the odds sometimes you make money sometimes you don't hmm. but you do the same thing probably 20 30 times you end up profitable true true so you your qualification uh, you are an engineer yes i'm a software engineer you are a software engineer and you worked in a software company yeah. and developed <coughs> i think you have an edge because of that no I you understand if, marketing in a very different way a software engineer obviously look at you get the market in a very different manner right yeah you can say that yeah 
So people who are not software developer or who doesn't have passion for maths, what do they do? I mean, see, it's it's the everyone who does any sort of business, right, or anything. If you want <laughs> to make profits, you need to have some edge. Yeah. You, you know, you cannot buy at hundred and sell at ninety five. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You need to sell it a little higher. Yeah. And to sell that something higher, you need to tell the customer something else, yeah. which you know he is compelled to buy. Because even though it is higher, mm. so I think it's pretty much general. You need to have that baniya <laughs> dimag kind of thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or there, there is a book also, right? Dando and other. Dando books. Investor by Mr. Manish Pogra. Yeah, and he kept one more for baniya also. He bought one more book. Oh, so, is it? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I think he bought three books in series. I, even I loved re- re- reading that. Yeah. But yeah, if you read such books, you kind of get those ideas. Yes, yes. That's uh, important learning, dosto. Uh, reading book is is not an option. It's a uh, it's a mandatory thing or fortunately we are living in this world where we can create videos like this so there are many people online who are creating quality video content around the same knowledge which probably they may have given in their book also so follow sensible people in social media yeah, don't follow true. people who censorize things <laughs> i mean once you know you at least avoid okay, yeah no. if you know people are talking about sensitive things avoid oh, yeah. tell me about your family here huh? what kind of background you come from I'm pretty much a middle class kind of. Uh, okay, what was your father doing? He's retired. He was working in uh, KSRTC. That's like the bus company in uh, Bangalore, yeah. Karnataka. Uh, nice. And mom is a clerk. She works in an office. Nice, nice. So uh, mom is not retired. But that's this is the last year. Okay. I have a brother. He's also a software engineer. He's in UK. Okay. And my wife is sitting there. Of course, she's here with us. Uh, <laughs> we invited her also that she should be part of this interaction. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Um, I mean, software development is a growing occupation, and yeah. a lot of my learners, ELM face-to-face learners, they are software developers. Actually, I'm in mean, software testing. Testing, anyways, yeah. it's all the same. Okay. Yeah. But the, for us, एक ही बात है. Although from a stockist's perspective, I know exactly who is doing what. Hmm. But आम आदमी के लिए एक ही बात है. So that's itself a rewarding occupation. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Why stock market? Just keep on growing there. Become Google, Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's there, right? You know, I, I I think in my beginning when I started, I think I told you this before. I promised myself that I'll stop my working if I double my kind of uh, trading profit, and it kind of never happened. Yeah. <laughs> and then just continue. I yeah. mean, now it's more like a passion. I, I like I really don't have much time. Mm. I have very less trades. And the more like tilted, like probably two three trades a week kind of, mm, mm. and I'm really not spending much time. So, and if you're trading, you should never leave your job. That's very important. That's important. <laughs> yes. So uh, basically, you are a part-time trader then. Yeah, yeah. And you only trade when your pattern is giving yes, you a very yes. high conviction. Trade. Correct. Correct. Fantastic. हमको तो यही चाहिए ना. This is exactly what we wanted. Someone who does part-time trading and trades only when the conviction is high. So you're going to help us. Uh, learn the art of reading conviction. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Pure data driven conviction. Yes, yes. Good. So, friends, this is going to be a very exciting video. Um, if you have joined us today, Thursday, you have to wait for tomorrow because Friday 5 p.m. is booked. And you know what? Many learners will also join us. You know the format which we have kept. And uh, in case you have joined us later, you are watching this video for the first time. You can go back to Elon Market's YouTube channel, and his video would already be live. Because you have coming after the Friday session has been made live. Excited, Sagar? Yeah. You know yeah. we share a common thing. What? A obviously the passion for data. Okay. I believe data can answer a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And second, your name is Sagar Singh, five five. Okay. I'm Vivek Bajaj, five five. 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 <laughs> <laughs> If that okay. makes any sense. Uh, so I'll see you. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. We're going to have great learning, and I'm going to invite other people right away. to join for the learning session see ya tomorrow if you have like let's say 100 trades it's important to have more wins mm-hmm. i mean if you have more wins and your average gain is a uh, little lower it's it's fine but mm. if you have lesser wins you need to ensure your gain is more mm-hmm. so again percentage wins is is number of uh, what's the percentage of wins you have average of all points uh, again it kind of gives a sense like how many points you might make per trade mm. Uh, median median is like the um, middle of all the uh, profits and losses whatever you have all it kinds of give the middle number so whatever is above that is kind of less and whatever below that median is like higher than that mm. so you are looking at the uh, center of that point so mm. if that is like a good positive number you can know 
remaining rest are pretty good numbers okay. above that okay they are minimum and maximum so this will be the uh, minimum like what's the biggest uh, loss you had had mm. profit is the max profit you would have made on one particular day mm. uh, standard deviation is your like how much it's varying from your mean mm. so if your mean if you have a very less standard deviation that's a very good number because most of your profits in the, are in and around the mean itself got it the average win point is like per trade how much you are winning mm. and when you are losing average uh, how much you are losing mm. and gross profit is like all the pro when you add only profits how much you get and gross losses the all the losses you add mm. profit factor is just pro gross profit by so gross, gross loss so gross profit is adding all the gross profits uh, just gross the profit is adding yeah. all gross loss okay yeah so profit factor is gross profit by gross loss it kind of tells you if you are losing 1 rupee mm. how much you make when you actually win that's a uh, profit factor is 2 that means for every time you lose one you are when you make money you make 2 rupees something okay. like that uh, this is after transaction cost no? this gross uh, yes yes but here i am not include transaction cost but that comes mdd is a max drawdown percentage and uh, recovery time so how much time it takes for you to recover from your maximum drawdown so these are some of the uh, metrics we will be looking into the strategy okay Thank you.